I get asked all the time, how does one get into HTM or clinical engineering slash biomed? And my answer is always the same. Go out and get your first certification. That's what tells the whole entire industry that you're serious about this career field. And the number one certification that I recommend any of them to get is the CABT. That's the Certified Associate in Biomedical Technology, which is created by Amy. So it only makes sense that the best representative to come here and help me explain the CABT is Danielle McGeary, who is the VP of Healthcare Technology Management over at Amy. So Danielle, thank you so much for being with us here today. And first off, what is the CABT and how is it that this can help people out in their career? Hi, Justin. Thank you so much for having me on your channel today. I have been a huge fan of your channel for quite a few years now, and I am just so impressed with your passion and enthusiasm for the field. So thank you for all you do. And thank you for supporting Amy and having me on to chat about the Cab T this morning. So the Cab T stands for Certified Associate in Biomedical Technology. And Amy created this as an entry-level certification for folks who either want to get into the HTM field or folks that just entered the field. As you know, um, the CBET either takes um, four years of work experience as a BMET um, if you don't have a, a degree related to biomed, or if you have a degree related to biomed, um, you need two years of work experience in the field. So there's a point in time where people enter the biomed or HTM field and don't uh, have the ability or option to have a certification. So we created this. So now the minute you decide you're interested or want to enter the field, that everyone can have a certification in the field. So to answer your question, the CAB T is basically a watered down version of the CBET exam. It is much more high level. So it tests candidates in six main areas, anatomy and physiology, medical devices, basic electronics, problem solving in the hospital, and IT. So, so what does that all mean? So for instance, for the medical device section, we aren't testing candidates since we know they're either brand new to the field or are just looking to enter the field, you know, on how to troubleshoot or PM or do a corrective maintenance on a medical device. We test them on if they can identify the medical device, where you'd find it in the hospital, and how it's used clinically. Same thing with the anatomy and physiology and the electronics and the IT. It's a very high level. So um, it's basically so people can show that they meet a minimum knowledge competency to enter the field. There are no requirements to take this exam. So that is really cool. So the minute anyone decides, hey, I want to enter the field, they can just sign up and take the exam. It's offered 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Um, it can just be taken on demand with an online proctor. So that's really neat too. You don't have to, it's the only certification that Amy offers where you don't have to wait for one of our two testing windows. And how long does that certification last once you get certified as a CABT? Great question, Justin. So the certification lasts five years, which is great because by the time that five years expires, assuming that this person has worked in the field for five years, they're now eligible to take the CBET. So the only thing about the CAPT is that it's not renewable. So we assume that we're starting a progression of certification. So you take your CAPT, it's good for five years. At that point, you're good for the CBET. So then they can sit and take the CBET at either May or November testing windows. Many technicians from other skilled trades have been interested in transitioning into HTM, healthcare technology management. Would you consider the CABT a stepping stone to get into this career? Or am I just misnaming this test for what it really is? Because that's what I consider it. What do you think, Danielle? So Justin, I'm so glad you're such an advocate because you hit the nail on the head. That's the whole reason why we created the CABT. We wanted to give folks a new, a new pathway into the field, especially with such a pipeline shortage of people right now. This exam is perfect for people just graduating from high school, um, graduates from maybe a two-year biomedical technology program, career changers, 
folks that are interested in the field, but maybe college just isn't an option for them. You know, it by taking this exam, it shows that these it shows to employers that these candidates meet a minimum knowledge competency. So when they're looking to hire them and they see that they passed this exam, they know that they've met a minimum standard in safety and healthcare, anatomy and physiology, electronics, IT, medic and medical devices. So you know, it's just a great way to prove that you meet that minimum knowledge competency. It also shows employers that, you know, you took that extra step to get a certification and you care and you're really vested and interested in this field. So it's just a pathway. You know, we really wanted to make sure everyone who could wanted a certification could get that at any point in their career. And it's a great intro to the field. We've also used it to promote the field. We raffle it off every HTM week to high school students. Um, we have a BMAT 101 course um, that we offer as the Cab T prep as well. So it could help people, you know, if, if they don't feel confident in one or two of the subject areas, they can, um, you know, take that course. Again, you don't have to, but it's an option. And for people who want to learn more, um, go to amy.org forward slash certification. We have um, our ACI handbook and ACI stands for Amy's C Credentialing Institute. And if you go into that handbook, it breaks down the whole exam, um, gives you um, an outline of what it is. So I would just go through that outline, see where you feel comfortable, see where you don't and study the areas that you don't. And hopefully, you know, this really helps people get into the field, helps employers feel confident hiring someone who's completely green. And yeah, and Justin, we are just so excited to continue to work with you here, at Amy. Thank you for your enthusiasm and every, you know, and all you do for the field and um, promoting this certification. We're just so appreciative. Thank you. If you have more questions about HTM professional certifications, check out Amy's website for more information. Also, we're gonna be doing some more partnership videos between Amy and the Better Biomed YouTube channel where we're gonna further explain these certifications and maybe even do some training to help you guys get certified. So stay tuned, Better Biomed channel, Amy, we're gonna be working together going forward. Thanks for watching everyone.